Well, today's farmer's market find is turning your old surf fork at home into a work of art. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live from Palolo with the very latest. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, Kelly Christine. That's right. Last Wave Co. is definitely making some waves of creativity and still hanging out with us here on Take Two. We have our friend Ashley and her sister Kirsten, who's been working on this beautiful board throughout the commercial break. Great job, Kirsten. That looks nice. Thank she's you. she's going to be working on that throughout the hit. But Ashley, go ahead and show us more of your designs and what makes Last Wave Co. really stand out. Um, so this is the first kind of board that we ever designed, just a really simple banana leaf. Um, for me, less is more, so we kind of stick to the minimal line art. Um, we then kind of went on to some of the hibiscus designs because, of course, it's Hawaii state flower. But then we kind of started to play around with different colors, different designs. So every board is custom, um, so the kind of the customers can reach out. They can ask us for anything, whether it's logos for their businesses, for holidays, and everything you're seeing is kind of an evolution of what the customers have asked oh, for nice. with colors and designs, which is really fun. So just co-creating together. Yeah, the range is really endless, and of course, as beautiful as they are, they start just like this, where you collect different old surfboards or broken surfboards and you scrape off the wax you get off all the different pieces does this take a little bit of time because I, I told you that the scraping part is pretty satisfying <laughs> it is satisfying if you've had a stressful day it is pretty great to scrape the wax off but it is a lengthy process so we have to scrape the wax off first mm -hmm. Um, and then afterwards, we sometimes we take the grip pads off. Not all boards have them. Some of the older ones don't. But then we have to take these off. Um, then we have to sand down the entire board, then spray paint it. And then only after that do we get to the art. So it is a pretty lengthy process because all boards come in different shapes, sizes. Um, some are older, so take more time. But And you know what? Speaking of, you know, shapes and sizes and old and new, you know, even broken pieces of surfboards like this can be a work of art. Go ahead and show them that. That's just awesome. You could have that at your office desk or even your kitchen. It's such a great conversation starter, really. But I understand that you and your sister are always looking for boards. So tell us how people could be part of the sustainability and really just be a part of the Last Wave Co. Yeah, so we're always looking for boards. Of course, our uh, full pieces are really popular, but I kind of like the half pieces that are broken too. Um, it's really important to us that we keep with the sustainability movement of upcycling these surfboards because otherwise they're just going to landfill. And Hawaii, one of the meccas of surfing, there's always boards in circulation, so we're just trying to save as many as we can from landfill. So we're always looking for donations. Um, we also buy boards that are old, broken, snapped in any condition. We're just trying to make sure that we can keep as many that were in the water and now out of the water so that we can, you know, create a new home for them and breathe a fresh uh, life into the, each board. All right, well, you saw a lot of different designs and ideas. I just want to thank you, Ashley, and Kirsten as well for just <laughs> being part of this. And I'm really happy that something did blossom out of the pandemic because I know it was a little bit of a rough year, but pretty busy from here on out. <laughs> so thank you so much. And if you want some more details about Last Wave Co., as long as, uh, along with other farmer's market finds that we've been covering throughout the whole year, check out our website at kh12.com. You can find it there. Reporting over here at the for Hawaii. Very cool stuff over there. Yeah. And you hear a lot about businesses and people who use the pandemic as kind mm -hmm. of a springboard to what they really want to find their passion. Yeah, so that's wonderful, you know, that folks are able to do that. I mean, something that, you know, she wouldn't have actually dove into actually can do it and it's really beautiful too mm -hmm. that's impressive i personally am not artistic at all like in any type of painting or drawing way so whenever i see someone that can do that i'm so impressed but i think that you're creative in other ways you know like when you kind mm -hmm. of like decorate piece things together in your house for oh certain, like, yeah holidays, i love decoration stuff. oh no but that's already made for me i just place it that does i don't know if that counts so much it counts. i'll take it i'll it take counts. it <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming up next, it's a school on Oahu where boys who want to change the world become the men who do. We're talking, of course.